children, I'm getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> that means I get to make spooky things in the lab. <laughs> boo boo boo. <laughs> Today we're going to make ghosts that fly. You're not afraid of ghosts, are you, children? You won't be after we make these together. You'll see. Ha <laughs> ha! They're just tissue paper. They can't hurt you. Now let's gather all of our materials together. We need some tissue paper, a pair of scissors, and a felt tip pen, and a balloon. Do you have everything? You could leave out the felt tip pen, I guess, but it's nice to give the ghost faces. Aren't they cute? <laughs> yes. Okay, children, the first step is to draw the ghost. I like to make mine with little arms. Hello, little ghosties. <laughs> I call him Boobert. Next, we want to cut them out. Be very careful with the scissors. If you're a little kid, you might want to use safety scissors. Those are the kind with the rounded tips. It's a good idea to use those until you're really good at cutting things. I'm really good at cutting things, but that's because I have many years of experience. Now lay your finished ghost down on a surface. Next, blow up your balloon and tie it shut. This part is very difficult, but I can do it because, again, I have many years of experience in blowing up balloons and tying them shut. See? But that's okay. That happens sometimes. If that happens to you, children, you just have to try, try again. Oh, for this part, you need some hair. I forgot to include that in the materials. If you don't have hair, you'll have to borrow a friend who has some. Rub the balloon on your hair. Give it a good old rub it up dub <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, this is tickles. Ah. Now we're ready to make our ghost fly. Hold your balloon close over the ghost. And there we go. Whoa! Look at that! They're taking off! Oh my! Wow! <laughs> Boo! Now, why is this happening? It's because of static electricity. There are two kinds of electricity. The kind that powers all of our gadgets is electric current. That's when electrons flow through wires. This is different. Static electricity is when charges build up on something. When we rubbed the balloon on our hair, we made the balloon negatively charged. The balloon is grabbing electrons from your hair. The electrons are negative, and the tissue paper has positive charges that are attracted to the negative electrons. Did you ever hear that saying, opposites attract? That's what's going on here, children. We can try different materials. What do you think would fly best? Tissues? Toilet paper? Regular paper. Let's try. Now we're doing a real experiment. I have a hypothesis. I think the lightest material will fly best. Okay, here we go. What do you know? I was right! Have fun 
with spooky science, my friends. If you'd like to see us do more experiments, click on one of these videos. They're fun and educational. Go on, click one. Either one is good. Really, they're both good.